One last video from Utah. Excuse the mess. We are just started packing. Uh, more about that later. I want to take a break from packing to demo a new voice control option that came online a couple of months ago. Uh, we demoed before how you can control uh, your house with the phone or your smartwatch. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Amazon Echo, which is a round cylinder here, uh, not this round sphere here. By the way, if anyone knows what this is, we found it in our backyard, and it looks like something, some sort of a creature would spit up, but I don't know any creature that's big enough to do that. Uh, if you know what that is, let me know. Uh, I thought maybe it would be a mountain lion furball, because there are mountain lions here, but who knows. Anyway, back to the Echo. From Amazon, uh, 180 bucks, uh, two speakers in the bottom, a uh, woofer and a tweeter, and uh, an array of seven microphones at the top, uh, which will wake up when you give it its keyword, which by, it can either be Amazon or by default, it's Alexa. What is the capital of Alabama? Alabama so you can see how the microphone Montgomery. pointing towards me is the one that lit up. And this is really effective because it can work clear across the room. Alexa, what is the weather forecast? In Salt Lake City, it's 71 degrees with clouds. That's spots. pretty slick. Today. So you have your whole suite of Google and Siri-like queries that Amazon set up. Um, some of them are a lot more useful in a kitchen environment, hands-free. For example, Alexa, how many tablespoons in a cup? Uh, the more exciting option for those of us with the wired homes is you can uh, tell it to hook up to any of uh, three hubs now and control on-off devices. That would be the Philips Hue, uh, the Wink Hub, and as of a few months or so ago, the Samsung uh, SmartThings Hub. Uh, there are also uh, software simulators out there that those of us with other software like Mr. House or uh, the Casa Verde can use um, in the same way. That's which is what I was doing uh, until about a month ago when we uh, sold this house or found a buyer and wanted something simpler for them to use, something that didn't require uh, home automation hacker enthusiasts to use. So I went out and bought the $50 um, Wink Hub from uh, Home Depot. And it worked pretty well, uh, very easy to set up um, and, uh, the, and control things by voice. But I had some reliability issues, uh, probably due to the wireless Wi-Fi that it used. So I switched to a smart things hub, which I also happen to have. And fortunately, which just became available as a supported hub uh, a few weeks ago. And, um, and that's worked a lot better for me. Partly, I think the Z-Way supports better, and it has a, a wired Ethernet connection, so that was pretty reliable. So now we can do things like, Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay. Or, Alexa, turn the fountain on. Okay. Or, uh, Alexa, ceiling fan on. Okay. So as you see, it can recognize the uh, command in a variety of different formats, either uh, you know, item on or turn on item, or um, it's pretty much any way you can think of uh, saying it. Um, if you're not close enough to something, uh, if you're not in the room, for example, uh, you can carry this thing around, uh, which is... Um, remote with a microphone built in. If you use this, you can skip the keyword and just push the button. For example, turn on curtain three. Okay. So, um, now the curtain support uh, with the Wink Hub, it actually had built-in curtain support, but that was actually a disadvantage because the Alexa Hub doesn't do open and close. It only does on and off. Uh, fortunately, kind of weirdly, the Smart Home Hub doesn't support the curtains directly, but it does recognize them as on-off Z-Way devices. So that allows the Echo to turn things on and off. The only disadvantage is you can't say open or close the curtain, you have to say on or off the curtain. So in my case, uh, on is uh, up. So for example, turn on all curtains. And then off would be down. Um, 
turn off curtain three. And she goes. So I expect that there'll be uh, more support from Amazon um, Echo in the future to control other things like your thermos, things other than on and off, like curtains, open and close, or uh, thermostat uh, temperature settings. Uh, it's really an effective uh, way to do voice control. You don't have to be wearing your phone and to work across the room. Um, I expect big things from that in the future. Speaking of the future, um, we have found a new home. So uh, my wife and I, we spent uh, the last three months kind of flying around the, all points in the U.S. Uh, we visited 10 different cities and uh, she found a great job in Alabama. So we're moving to Birmingham, Alabama uh, in a week. And we found a buyer for this house. So if everything works right, we will be moving out of here in a few days and a new buyer will be moving in and we'll land over in a suburb of Birmingham uh, in about a week in a really interesting house that was built around a pipe organ, two-story pipe organ back in the 70s. So that all works. Um, we'll try um, getting back online and maybe find something interesting to vlog about from there in a couple months. So until then, um, take care, and we'll see you then. Amazon. <laughs> Not Amazon. Alexa, how far is it to Alabama? Your current location is 1,490 miles, 2,390 kilometers from Alabama.